we stopped talking, I heard four rasping noises. Sort of like the grudge, but a little higher pitched and slower. Like. Uh, sort of like that. Way, sort of. The first three were like one after the other really strong, and the last one was a faint one. Which. That one kind of. Er, so that was definitely communication by something. Yeah. It was definitely trying to communicate with us. But, um. But before we, we, we tell you one of the evidence we got, because we'll show you that, we'll tell the rest of what happened. Yeah. So So after we were trying to communicate, uh, that was in the laugh place, right? Uh, no, that was in the mourner hall. Mourner hall, okay. So then I think after that we went into the... Yeah, we went to the laughter. Yeah, we thing. went back into the oh. hall of... or the laughter dome. Which actually, to me, feels a lot like an apartment because it, it, you can definitely, it, it, it depends on where you stand. There's a lot of different energies you get in there. Some are yeah. bad, some are good. There's definitely yeah. more than just one thing there. There's a yeah. lot. That's pretty for sure. If, if you go there, I think you'll probably come to the same conclusion. Yeah. But uh, we went in there and we all kind of spread it out through it. It's a big place, but it's very uh, lit, the moon. So, I mean, uh, we didn't, you know. We didn't totally Scooby Doo it though and split up to where we couldn't see each other, but we definitely spread it out a bit. Yeah, we were. That's that's just the last thing you want to do in a place because we we know there's definitely something there evil. Yeah. So we were there and well, or so yeah, we did not split up ever. Well, there was always two people together. Never everyone's on their own and you um, can't see each other. And then. Uh... So we're waiting and waiting, and then uh, John, his dad, says, I'm, I'm getting this weird vibe over here. So he goes... Anyway, anyway so he goes over there. Uh, children meetings in the next room. It's him. You're right. Anyway, um, he looks over there, and then there's... Um, you know, he just gets this odd presence. And he just stands there for a while, listening and watching. And I, 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 uh, I crouch down in a dark corner off my light camera and just let whatever happened happen and uh, finally I, I get a little uh, a little louder than usual and I ask just you know hey what's going on you know are you here are you not here is this, cr is this bullshit or is this what you know? and uh, then Dakota was uh, you know Harris was standing by the doorway just looking outside because stuff outside any, anything around that place kind of shit happens and I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, and I say, you know, do you want us here or not? And I get a re <laughs> really creepy hiss behind my neck. Like it, like like he was just right there, kind of, you know, someone yeah. was right there. Um, so I, I jump, you know, I, I'll be honest, I jump up and go, you know, you know holy shit. shit. And then uh, two uh, bugs, supposedly, very small bugs, at that same time hit uh, Dakota in the face. Or what, what Russian. Went past him. We said it hit him a little bit. So. And then my father, he heard the exact same hissing noise near, over by his feet, at and the same time. Then he makes he made a very, a big, uh, astonishing. Uh, I guess you call it a discovery. Discovery is we walk over there, next to John, or I I proceeded to walk over there just saying, hey, you know what's going on, you know, right, you know, what are you getting anything, and uh, he says, listen. It's right next to me, and it's scratching on the walls. And I'm, I'm like, you know, that very that sounds something again, straight out of sci-fi or horror. It's like, what? So I'm right next to you, so I'm like, all right, I yeah. listen. Yeah. And you hear this. It's uh, not exactly as loud as something like, uh, you know, fucking Freddy Krueger, but something, something you can distinctly hear because it's uh, it's uh, concrete and then foam. Yeah. And you hear the foam just sort of like if you were. Yeah, dragging your fingers along the phone. And then everyone hears it. Everyone can, yeah, you know, you could almost kind of make out where the scratches are that are coming from. Yeah. And then, you know, that's when we're like, okay, well, obviously there is something that, you know, that doesn't want to communicate. He just wants to cause, know, cause a little harm. fear. Yeah. yeah. And we believe that whatever it is that's there is... The bad thing. 
thing, right? Yeah, the bats, yeah. whatever it is that's there, that the malevolent one feeds off of your fear. Yeah, um, and this this isn't uncommon for certain ghosts or spirits, demons, whatever. Yeah, whatever, I mean, it, do, it does sound very Freddy-ish, but it's true. It's true. It's uh, I mean, if you convey strong emotions, I mean, there's no way you can think those emotions don't give off some sign. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's uh, you know. Which so, not if they're powerful. And then so we just we came to the conclusion that the hissing was caused by the spirit being in the form of a snake. And it's a possibility. That, well, the, if that's true, that's not a good thing whatsoever because one, no. the serpent is the symbol is one of the many many symbols, many. just like the is along with the minotaur, the ram, the ram, and many other things. The symbol, one of the symbols of Satan, which the serpent is where he gets his tongue. Like the myth says, he's got a forked serpent's tongue. So yeah, yeah. again, though, this is just from the stuff we've experienced. We're not biased, saying Satan this or you know God this. Yeah. We're just saying we went there very skeptical. What we think so far yeah. from what I mean, if you go there again, share your opinion, and I'm very dead on. If if you go around, we did. We eight went or there nine yeah, from we were there uh, from eight to about ten thirty, which. We definitely plan on going there at later times, the witching hour and yeah, the, witching the devil's hour, hour and all that. Yeah, hour of Satan, which is, to everyone that does not know, three in the morning. Yeah. So. Besides my birthday. Anyway. Sorry. Um, um, so after that, we started kind of to proceed out, I believe. Yeah. After, I mean, grant you, that's not everything we did. But the parts that we experience the most stuff, that's what yeah, we Yeah, the most the parts that are relevant. Yeah. Um, and then finally, I think we get to the main dome. The, or the first one. The saucer, yeah, the, the front saucer, dome. Right? The, yeah, the flying saucer. That's what it's been nicknamed over so the years. So we, we've got the flying saucer, the Satan Hall, Laffer Hall, or Laffer Dome, and then... One Mourner's Hall. The Mourner's Hall. That's what we are call what we like to call the domes. Yeah, but the, again, the, the, the first one, the the saucer, that's been called by many people. Yeah, the flying saucer. So we go in there, kind of look around, and be like, okay, you know what? Uh, there's some there's 